Hey everybody, this is Travis with Titans of CNC, and today we're gonna show you how to make this part, the Titan 38LM, in one operation, right? Titanium 6AL4V, aerospace material, aerospace part. Now, in a previous video, we installed the jaws and we installed the tools. Today, we're gonna touch off those tools, set some work offsets, and we're gonna make some chips. Now, we got a lot of work to do, so we're gonna go through it kind of fast, but we'll stop, we'll teach you some tips and tricks along the way, so let's get going. All right, here we have tool number three, our Kenna Metal inserted drill. Now, one of the cool things we're gonna do in this operation is we're not only gonna use this as a drill, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna step over and we're also gonna use it as a boring bar. We have to touch it off once as if it's being used as a drill, put that in offset number three right here, and then we're gonna have to touch it off like a boring bar and we're gonna move that over to offset number 13. That's the offset that's gonna be called up when it's performing its boring bar functions. Now, we just touched this tool off on the outside edge of this insert right here, but this is a drill, right? So what I'll do is now that I've touched it off on the outside edge, I will go ahead and I will add the diameter to the drill, which will shift that offset to the center point of this drill. All right, so for our next five tools here, it's gonna be a really tight fit getting in here next to this chuck. So what I'm gonna do to actually make my job a little bit easier, I'm gonna go ahead and actually remove one of these jaws and push my material back. Now, I'm gonna to touch off the shank right here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna subtract the diameter of that shank right there, which in this case is a quarter inch or .250. So although we made a little clearance by taking that jaw out, there's still not enough room for us to touch off the tool in Z, so that's gonna have to wait to use the sub-spindle side in order to be able to get that value. We've touched off all the tool geometries that we can using our machine tool probe. The rest, we're gonna to touch those tools off after our transfer. Our live tool holders right here, they all put this tool position, the center line of that tool position, at the same X coordinate. So when I go over here to my offset screen, for those tools, I should see that the X value should be not exactly the same, but within a couple thousandths of each other. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set the work offset, which is basically defining the position of our part within our machine here. Now, where I want the front of the part is gonna matter, right? I'm gonna be turning this part all the way back. So I have to make sure that wherever I set the front of the part, when I turn all the way back, I'm not gonna hit my jaws. All right, so I have the proper amount of bar stock sticking out but I want it to be probably about 10 thou back from here, 10 to 20, so I can clean this face up and have a nice clean face on my finished part. We're ready to go ahead. We're gonna machine off one. All right, so we're facing the part now. Gonna go ahead, we're gonna rough turn our OD here. These are all Kenna Metal cutting inserts. This is a grade K313, uncoated. Now here's where we wanted to make sure we pulled the part out far enough, right? Because we're turning back towards those jaws. All right. All right, so as we mentioned during the touch-off process, we're now gonna use our inserted drill as a boring bar using that alternate offset.
but it did actually board out rather nice. All right, we're gonna go ahead and finish face and finish turn. All right, this is also a can of metal turning grade, KCS-10B. It's one of the newer turning grades designed for high temp alloys. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do a finish ID. Before we do the part transfer though, we have to go ahead and we have to touch off our jaws right here on our sub spindle, what's known as our fixture offset, so we can bring those jaws to the proper position in which to pull the part out, allow it to be parted off, and move it to the other side of the machine. B.250. All right, so this is kind of like the moment of truth in sub spindle machining, right? We got everything touched off, let's bring this thing down, let's transfer this part. And she spins. See, it looks like we got just enough clearance for the part off tool right there. Ah, clean part off. So a couple things that we're doing, right? All right, we wanna make sure that one, we left enough material to machine off for our op two, which we did. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab an indicator. I'm gonna see how the part's running out in those sub spindle jaws, make sure I'm happy with how they were machined and everything's transferring nice and clean run out wise. All right, so we promised you guys a part and one off, but we're only halfway there. So make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're gonna come back later. We're gonna take you through the rest of this part, right? We have our live tools. We got drills, we got end mills, we got thread mills, we have it all. We'll see you guys next time.